Let's look at an iterative approach to adding nodes to a binary tree. I've declared three array variables, one for the data, one for the left pointers, and one for the right pointers. These are all fixed sized arrays, which means my tree can only grow so big. They're also zero based, element numbering starts from zero, because vb.net doesn't give me much choice in this matter. I'm nevertheless treating them as one based arrays for simplicity. I've declared these arrays and I position, which keeps count of the data items, at the top of the form class, because I want their contents to be retained while the form is running. Here's my insert node routine. It's almost identical to the pseudocode I explained in my previous video. Essentially, we start at the root and we follow a path of branches until we reach a terminal node at which we can place our new item. We compare our new data item with each node that we visit along the way, deciding whether to turn left or right at each node. This routine allows me to view the tree, or at least a representation of it. It simply builds an output string by scanning the data array and the two pointer arrays. Let's see this in action. I'll enter the data I used in my previous explanation. And now I'll view the tree. Now, in order to search a binary tree, we can employ pretty much the same process we used to build the tree. We can follow a path of branches comparing our sort item with the data at each node that we visit along the way. If we reach a terminal node and still haven't found what we're looking for, then it isn't in the tree. This should take all of two minutes to adapt my routine for inserting a new node. Let's give it a go. I'll rename my copy of the routine and I'll rename the parameter that we pass to it. Now I'm not going to need this line because I'm not adding any new data to the tree and I'm not going to need this either. We'll treat the root node as a special case. Now I'm going to iterate until I find the data I'm looking for. If I reach a terminal node and I still haven't found what I'm looking for, it doesn't exist. And I can exit this routine. Here's where I follow the pointer. And now I can decide whether to turn in the other direction. Once again, if I reach a terminal node, the search has been unsuccessful. If we get out of this loop, without exiting the procedure, we found the data. Now this can probably be refined a little bit, but in essence, it should do the job. Let's give it a try. Actually, I'm going to need a new text box to put in the criteria. So let's see how we go. Now my tree only exists for the duration of the form, the way I've implemented it. So I'm going to have to enter all the data again very quickly.
quickly check the tree. That looks OK. And now let's try the search. First of all, Lewis found at the root. Let's look for somebody else. Imogen found it. Let's try another one. Xavier's in there. And let's look for somebody different. David not found. It looks like it's working fine. So there it is, a way to search a binary search tree using pretty much the same technique we used to build that tree.